Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. All right, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to turn on some really cool, powerful tools or add-ons that come already inside of Blender. You just have to turn them on, essentially. And notice over here in the right, I have a little widget that I've turned on just so you can see which uh, clicks I'm doing or if I hit a stroke on the keyboard, it will tell you uh, what I'm doing there. So that's what that is. Um, and it's it's controlled by this little guy here. Uh, so if you don't see that on your computer, uh, don't worry. That's just because I added it so you could see my, my keys. But let's go ahead and dive into adding some add-ons. I'm really excited about this. Uh, and it's going to make your life a lot easier when doing 3D print designs inside of Blender. So let's go up to the top left. Everybody click on Edit and go down to the bottom and click on Preferences. So these are different properties uh, on the left here that you can you know, click on any one of those um, and change at any point at any time. But I'm gonna show you some quick ones that are really helpful. If you go to System, right there at the top, it says Undo Steps, and it's only set to 32, but let's just crank that up. You can click and drag all the way to the right, or you can just click in there and type 256, and just kind of max that out. And notice at the bottom left, it says save preferences. It's got a little asterisk. So go ahead and save that. Or if you hit the hamburger stack, you can do auto save preferences or save preferences there. Um, another thing we're gonna do is go to our add-ons. And once you're on your add-ons here, these are just little, there's tons of them. You know, you can read through a bunch of these or kind of Google um, about a lot of them. But the one I wanna show you is the 3D printing toolbox. So go up to the search magnifying glass, click in there and type in 3D. And you should see mesh 3D print toolbox. If you don't see it, make sure that these two uh, options up here, official and community are highlighted blue. And then just go down to 3D print toolbox and check the box. And notice that it's appeared over here on your three, on your information tab. And now we're gonna add some more. So let's close that out, search for another one, and just type in B-O-O-L, and that's bool. And we want to turn on the bool tool. And if you click this little triangle beside it, um, there's also a list of shortcuts. Um, and I'm gonna be teaching you all these, but um, those are really cool to know, you know, kind of memorize those by heart. And I'll show, I'll, we'll go into, you know, what they all do. And then let's add a few more. So maybe close that and then just type in mirror, M-I-R, and we can do mesh auto mirror. So we may use that from time to time. And then we can also type in up here, extra. And then you, you should see add curve extra objects and add mesh extra objects. And these are just going to give us extra objects to play with. So go ahead and turn those on. We may use some of those. And then make sure to save your preferences. And now to make sure that that all worked, you know, go ahead and close it, make sure you saved it. And then on your information panel, you should see 3D print toolbox. And we're going to go over what this bad boy does. And then you also have edit, which is your bool tool and your auto mirror. So those are little tools that we can use. And if you can't see any of these, you can go to tool and under workspace right here, you wanna make sure, you know, you could, you may have to check these boxes. It should just work, but if it doesn't, you know, that may be your issue. Um, or you, you know, you may have to filter add-ons and you can kind of control which ones you're seeing depending on what you're trying to do. But, you know, just go ahead and leave it open and it should look like this if you've done it correctly. But yeah, those are the add-ons I want you to go ahead and turn on and go ahead and hit save, control S, and that will save your project. And let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to talk about 3D print design theory. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.